We have just successfully wrapped up our first season. Now, we're preparing something new. And this one is about you. We're going to be talking about life, spirituality, love, romantic connections, and anything under the sun. Now, are you ready for your life to change? Join me there. Hi, Aries. Welcome to Michelle. We're doing your reading. How are you? <laughs> if you don't know, we're having a meetup. Now that you know, you have to go there in the description box and check it out. Okay. Um, it's going to be in Los Angeles. Okay. Sal is going to be there. Um, I want to see all the Aries over there. Maybe there's one or two that's going to be going. Hopefully, there's one. Okay. Hopefully. Just saying. <laughs> so it's right there. Okay. So I'll see you there. Um, we're going to be, it's like a feeling sisters with Sal. That's the theme. And it's also the talk show that we're having on the other, other channel. So if you're not going to be able to attend, don't worry. Fret not. You can still fly the red eye and get here. <laughs> no, meaning you subscribe to the other channel. And then you, mo you won't miss out on feeling sisters with Sal. Okay. So let's see what's going on with you guys here. See what's up with Aries. What you doing? Okay. Here we go. This one first. Mm -hmm. And this can also be vice versa. I just have to reverse the situation. Mm -hmm. Go. Mm. Let's see. five ones a lot of I don't understand you you don't understand me we don't understand each other that's that one mm, trouble in paradise basically either you're this person right now um, it's just like no you never really see me you know it's like on this view mm -hmm. mm. you never see me um, <laughs> Because they feel like you're, you know, it's like it's just too difficult. It's just too hard to handle. Mm. And it's almost like, well, if I do this, you know, it's like you feel attack also. Like, I'm just going to do this and then you get accused for that. It's just like, oh, okay, well, that's your problem. I'm not going to deal with you. If you're just going to be that difficult, it's just like, uh-uh, nope. Mm -hmm. That's what you're having there. I'm not gonna deal with you. If you're gonna be difficult. Hangman. Mm, yeah. And for you, the difficult thing here is like they can't make up their mind, and they make things uh, stagnant. Mm -hmm. So of course, any person wouldn't want to be like, oh, okay, there's no direction. Let's call it a day. Uh huh. But don't hold on to me. Don't you know? Don't cling to me like. I can't do what I want to do with my life um, just because your indecisiveness. Mm. You being indecisive. And you want to claim independence, either them or you. But that's that one. I want to be independent from you. Mm. The five cups. As soon as someone claims independence, other person now comes begging and asking for mercy. Please don't do this. Please don't leave me. Please no. Oh, that's a five of cups. Please. Please no. Five of cups and nine of pentacles. So they can't handle if you um, decide to go on your way. They don't see that as something that they can live through. Uh -huh. They don't. And they won't. Chances are. 
got an eight of swords, and now you feel again. It's like, okay, so we're back to square one, where I'm stuck with you, with your indecisiveness, with you taking your time and trying to analyze things, and me, basically, instead of me having a good life, even though I'm single, I don't need to be, I don't need to be in a relationship. I don't need to be in a relationship if it's just going to be this difficult. I don't need to. I'm fine and secure. Okay. The right one will come along. Mm -hmm. But your neediness, you bringing conflict to my life, makes me feel like I am shackled and I'm possessed here. Mm -hmm. Ten of Wands and making it even a burden. So you're having someone here who's just, just adding to your burden already. It's like I'm I I need to let go of you. You're back breaking here. Got five and ten of ones. You're adding now just you know, you're adding pressure to my life. Like this is an un you know, say like unsolicited basically burden. You could be um how to say this? Uh connecting with this person and you just feel like it's one sided, you know, it's like I'm doing all the work, mm -hmm. doing all the work, and I don't even know anymore. And this, is what, this is what you're having, you're, you're at a breakdown here with the ten of wands. You're at a breakdown. You're at a point where it's just like, okay, I need to give up. I need to let go. You could have also got the Empress card, which shows, of course, you know, it's like that's you being abundant, that's you, Venus over there, King of Wands, they desire you. You have a lot to give and a lot to offer compared to them. Like they may be, you know, it's like, of course, you're the King of Wands normally, but in this end, of course, like I would have to look at the Empress because, you know, the Empress rules the Queens. Um, so chances are you, if you're the feminine energy, you're more, you're very invested in. Um, in yourself that is like I'd rather look for an emperor and date a king and this is where you're, you guys have difficulty with because you know there can be a sense of a you know it's like a different stature they can be like well like you're more you make more income you know it's like there's a there's that kind of difference between the two of you mm -hmm. You get a six of pentacles, see, maybe a pay. There's a difference in pay. Ten of ones, but it's just a burden. You could be also be uh, supporting this person financially. And your feelings is like, I don't need, uh, I mean, it's like, I ain't your mama over here. Like, you, you gotta work, you gotta do your own thing, find your own self. Um, Because this person is making their problem your problem, which becomes a headache of a problem. Mm hmm. Because it's not shared love, it's shared burden. I understand through thick and thin, but ladies or gentlemen, this is just thin, okay? And the elasticity of this relationship is being pushed already to its max. And at some point, even though we are flexible and we want to work things out, our back will break over here. It's a back-breaking relationship and it's time for you again to let go of this relationship. Let go of the burden. They, they could have done this or you could have done it. You know, it's like, but it takes two to tango also. The two of you here. Shows that there has been burdening and both of you can be clinging for a reason. You out of pity, them out of mercy. So now you're, you know, it's like it's not toxic. I don't sense that. Meaning it can still be resolved. Other person just had to pick up their slack, pick up their, you know, it's like, you know, you pick up your own work, bro, you know, or, you know, ladies, or whatever you are. Mm. Let's come to the connection when we don't carry burden. We don't care, you know, it's like, people should come and compliment each other, not like this. A relationship that brings burden to you, you already know that it's going to be a difficult karma. And I'm not saying it's like, oh, give up on them. But how much can you take? You can, like, if you are made for it and built for this kind of karma, go ahead. 
But if you're saying here, like this person is stuck and clingy and, and my mind space, I'm just bothered, then take control. You can't handle it. You know that. Hmm. Because otherwise you would have the sun cut and it's fine, we'll be together. I'll do no. You're at this person's mercy because they're at your mercy. I can't live without you, you can't live without me. It's not even a devil card obsession. It's neediness. This person have a problem. Yeah. Okay. Talk about I ain't your mama. Okay? So I'm gonna continue this reading. Aries, link down there in the description box for everything that you need. Make sure you grab your ticket, okay, before the cops give you one. Okay. Okay. So thank you very much guys for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in extended. Bye.